Hi everyone, my name is Arden Kirkland and I've been working behind the scenes on the Design for Learning program since last February, first as a graduate assistant and now as an instructional technology librarian. Now I'm also a lead instructor for the community and social modules, which I really see as twins. I completed my MSLIS at the iSchool at Syracuse University as a distant student, so I have a lot of opinions about the ups and downs of online learning. Also, as this module is getting underway, I'm emerging as the reluctant community manager of two different online communities related to cultural heritage. I'll tell you more about those in the coming weeks as I work through the activities with you to develop my own plans for those communities. I mention it because I never set out to be a community manager. I would much prefer to be sitting in a corner working from behind the scenes, but there are just situations where no one else is emerging to manage the community. So you have to do what you have to do. Instructional situations with groups particularly require attention to community management. Before I was a reluctant community manager, I was a reluctant community member. Other people don't necessarily say this about me, but I consider myself to be very shy. I always hated group work, etc. But over the years, I was very lucky to find myself in some online environments that made me feel very comfortable and helped me come out of my shell a bit and really changed my life. I have a lot to share from having gone through that experience myself, and I'm inspired to try to bring out the best in online students wherever I can, including you and your future students and their future students. <laughs> and okay, on to the community module. Throughout this module, we'll be working together to develop plans for the communities associated with our individual projects, and we'll all learn from each other. As with the other modules so far, we'll be taking some concrete baby steps to keep adding to the final plan for the capstone projects. In looking at online learning communities, we'll go a little deeper each week. For the first week, we'll just be exploring. Then for the second week, we'll be participating. By the third week, we'll be ready to start our own online learning communities. And in the fourth week, we'll prepare to maintain them for the long haul. I'm excited to be a part of the Design for Learning online learning community with you and to get to know you all better. So I'll see you online.